All right, tonight we have Howard Krug on the show. Hi, Howard, how are you Dave, tonight? Craig. Welcome back. All right. Sam. Hey, welcome. All right. Today we're going to talk about the Bill of Rights. Cool. Do you know 226 years ago, 1791, December 15th, wow. that's Friday. when they started the Bill right. of Rights. Cool. Yep. And the reason they started the Bill of Rights was, well, they put a preamble in there, just like they put a preamble in the, uh, in the Constitution of the United mm -hmm. States, okay. we the people. Well, they said the conventions of a number of states, having at the time adopting the Constitution, expressed a desire in order to present prevent a misconstruction or abuse of its powers that further declaratory and restrictive clauses should be added. Okay. All right. And the key is right here. Conventions, these are people. All right. Okay. All right. They wanted to not let the government abuse us. So what areas did they not want to let the government abuse us? Let's look, gentlemen. Okay. All right, oh. amendment number one is called the Big Five. It starts out okay. with Congress shall make, make no law respecting establishment or beginning of a religion. They can't start a religion. They can't prohibit in the free exercise thereof. That means if you come to this country, you can be Christian, you can be Buddhist, as the wheel shows. You can be Hindu as you come around clockwise. Sheikhism, Judaism, Islam. So that's why there's no Church of the United States. There's no Church of the United oh. States. That's exactly right, Craig. Oh. And there never will be. There never okay. will be. So as we look at am Amendment Number One, still yet, it's called the Big Five. Remember, because we have freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. Some countries criticize the government. You go to jail. This young lady's <laughs> criticizing the government. That's okay, because she, she can that. assemble, she can petition, because if something's wrong with our government, we can take care of that problem. Cool. So as we look, you get the right to bear an arm. All right. That's the Second Amendment. Keep and bear arms shall not be infringed or cannot be taken away. As we look at number three, that's one of my favorites. Can't put soldiers in the houses. Right. You don't have to feed them. Quarter. You don't have to take care of them. Quarter them, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Amendment number four, police just can't knock on the door and say, hey, come on, let me come on in. No, they gotta have a warrant. Yep. They gotta have a warrant. Amendment number five, you've all seen this on TV, where it says, give me my, my Miranda rights, sorry. And it says due process, grand jury, double jeopardy, self-incriminate. Don't you wish you had self-incrimination, young people? You didn't have to do that. Mom and dad ask you, hey, what'd you do? You have to answer them. In court, you can say, I plead the fifth, but not at home. Can't plead the fifth at home. Sorry, young people. But amendment number six is great, too, because you get the right to speedy trial. You get to confront your accusers. Mm -hmm. You get an impartial jury of the peers. I've served on a jury. I have too, have you? Yes, I have. All right. All right. All of us have served on jury. Maybe your moms and dads have too. Right. If you sue me, Sam, for $20, you don't get a jury trial. But if you sue me for over 25 you get a jury trial. So you have $26. Okay. 26 <laughs> Thank you. Right? That's right. That is over 25 Very good. Amendment number eight. No excessive bails. Like if somebody steals uh, 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 um, something from the bag of potato chips, pay, yeah, bag of sure. potato chips, they can't fine them a thousand dollars and throw them in jail for a year. Right. Doesn't fit the crime. No cruel and unusual punishment. Can't pull out your fingernails. Can't Ow. do mm. many Ow. things that, that would really hurt. for taking potato that chips. That are really <laughs> bad. Yeah, for taking potato chips, that'd be terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Amendment number nine: privacy rights cannot be taken away from the Very people. Good. That is really cool okay. because that gives us the rights that we have in this country from government abuse. And that's a beautiful thing, gentlemen. Yes, yes. But amendment number 10, a lot of people ignore this one. This is the last one in the Bill of Rights, but I'm so grateful that we have amendment number 10 and I okay. think you will be too out there in TV land because it says the federal government has <coughs> powers listed Excuse in the Constitution. Me. All the powers that aren't listed in the Constitution okay. are reserved to the States, states and, and the, the people. 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 That speak. means you and me. Yeah. That means right now the states are in charge of education. Mm -hmm. New York State regions. States determine who drives and what age people drive. So we could make a law in New York State that at 15 people could get their license. Did you know that? <laughs> who knows? 15 year olds. Yeah, they do it in some states, yes, by the do. way. Right. Yes, they do. And uh, that is the power of the people. That's power of the states. That's why the Bill of Rights is so very important in this country. Mm -hmm. And we really need the Bill of Rights. And they only apply to us in this country. So if you right. go to some other country, do something illegal, they can hold you to their laws. Yes, they can. I was driving in Jordan, just a real quick story. 30 seconds. I was driving in Jordan and I ran a yellow light Ooh. by accident. Um, they held me in jail for really? a little while. Yep. 
until wow. we could figure something okay. out. It was not a good thing. No. no. And I didn't have no. right to a okay. trial or a lawyer or anything. All right. That's why we have the Bill of Rights. So we'd like to thank Howard for coming in here and being here tonight. And when we get back, we're going to take a look at some of the responses that you guys sent us in for the Voice It question.